Hello, good evening, my friends. Welcome to another English class. Let's evening. see what we have here. I hope Hello. your weekend was okay. Hi, hi there. Well, nice to see you. Let's see, here we have Robert. Hello, Robert. Good evening. How are you doing? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Um, not bad. Not bad. Okay, that, that sounds good. Like, what about Albert? Hello, Albert. How are you? Okay. That's nice. What about the others? Um, let's see, Miguel. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Okay, how was your weekend? Saturday, Sunday, everything okay? On weekend, I went to visit my mother. Yeah, good. Always good visiting your grandma. Where does your grandma live? She lives mother. in... Mm -hmm. her, live, her live in San Salvador. Okay, she Okay, nice. Thank you. Thank you for sharing, Miguel. Good for you. Always, that's beautiful, visiting your mother. Okay, what about Freddy's? Hi, Freddy's. Hi, good evening, teacher. How was your weekend? Um, fine, it's very hard. Very hard to yeah, hard. visit some Did work? City. Did you work on, on, on the weekend? No. No, okay. It is a uh, travel to San Vicente City. Oh, okay. Yeah, I understand. Thank you. I guess okay. there is a crossroad, I common this bio, in San Vicente, where they sell carne de chucho, they say, right? But it is like roast meat, <laughs> carne asada. I have Try taste it really good one with a tortilla. Yeah. Delicious. No, no las encontré. <laughs> really? Okay, come on. Sí. Yeah, it is like very common. The days people say that it is carne de chucho, but it's not. Well, I guess not, right? Well, anyway, thank you for sharing, uh, Freddy. Nice to see you again. You, yeah. Okay, here we have the others, right? Um uh, I don't know, Denise. Are you okay, Denise? Hello, I'm here. Everything in order? Yes, everything is okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay, I'm glad that you're here. You're back. Thank you, Denise. Yes, okay. me too. Okay, perfect. And hello to the rest of the class. Um, This is the class number 18. So it means that we have just seven classes left seven classes and we say goodbye okay so let's take advantage of the time because uh, we're going to finish this module uh, in seven classes right so that is going to be really good because i imagine that you want vacations and you want to spend time with your family go out at night yeah it is uh, it is necessary Okay, so uh, the topic for tonight is how to use perfect models, okay? So we're going to check this. And before we start, well, we're going to check it later. But well, here we have ways to say, leave me alone. Imagine you are fed up, cuando ya están harto de algo, you are fed up, or where you are tired, you are angry, you don't want to talk to anyone, okay? You want to be alone. You don't want company. You don't want somebody says something to you now. You want to be alone. So you can say, give me a break. Stay away from me. Leave me in peace. Um, we can say, go away. Buzz up. Get off my back. Let me be. Okay. Give me a break. Stay away from me. Um, leave me in peace. Go away. 
bus off, get off my back, let me be. Okay. I'm going to check the attendance list as always. And I need you to tell me. Hi, hello, present in one of these phrases. Well, Alex is not going to be here, right? He said that he was busy. Raquel, Ana Raquel. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Your phrase. Mia Brett. Okay. Um Vicky. Present. Let me be. Thank you. Perfect. Um Brandon, I guess he's as a listener. I guess. Okay. Um Denise. Hi, um, get up my back. Perfect. Okay, here we have now. Predis, your turn. Uh, present, leave me in peace. Okay, nice. Albert, I don't know if you can. Hi. Okay. Um, Ernest. Present, stay away from me. Good. Okay, Luis, always as listener. Maho, she can be I'm here. here. I'm here. Uh, are mean? you okay? Uh, mm -hmm. Yes, I'm okay. Stay away from me. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Um, Maritza, are you there? I don't know if Maritza is here with us, but well, in case no, we go with Miguel. Get off my back. Good, thank you. Um, let's see, here we have also Morelia. Good evening, stay Good away evening. from me. Stay away, okay. Um, uh, Nancy? Present teacher. Thank you. Stay away from me. Okay, nice. Uh, Robert? Present teacher, uh, get off my back. Perfect. And well, Roxana, I guess uh, she's she's not available tonight. Okay, let's move. So different ways to say "leave me alone." Remember that we study different phrases. So um, to continue with some worksheets uh, related to superlative adjectives is the topic that we studied on Friday. We had like a kind of a review about this. And we're going to focus on different forms, uh, adjective or normal or base form, that is the yellow color. Then here we have the pink one, that it's comparative, and the light blue, it's superlative, okay? So just for you to remember how it works, that in the comparative, we have done uh, ER or more. And superlative, we add est or the most. Okay, so we don't have problem with this because we already know how it works. Okay, so let's continue with this uh, uh, worksheet. It is very uh, simple. Okay, it is like this. Here we have, um, here we have some base form or it is positive base form or normal form. Uh, here we have the comparative form and the superlative, okay? Here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, then 11, 11 lines, okay? Or you can say the name of the, of the adjective, okay? If you select number one, remember you have to say uh, the positive and comparative. If you, if you select number five, you can say happy, then the comparative and superlative. I give you a couple of seconds for you to check, and then I'm going to ask. Try to have two or three options, remember, as always. So in case another person selects your option, you have always alternatives.
Okay. <clears throat> do, do we have some volunteers? I don't know, maybe some of you. It is kind of. Me, teacher. Okay, Ernest, tell me. The fifth, the fifth one is the positive is all. Mm -hmm. And the Or older, older time. I yes, think. it can be older, but definitely older than, okay? Because all the, the words have like uh, done, but okay, all older, thank you. And the oldest, it is like this. Thank you, Ernest, very nice. And uh, who else? Uh, me, teacher. Mm -hmm. Please. A small, a smaller. Yeah. And then? Uh, smallest. Mm -hmm. Easy peasy. Okay, who else? Okay, I'm going to select some of you. So Me be teacher. ready. It's Vicky. Me, late mm -hmm. M. A comparative is later. Mm -hmm. A superlative is latest. Mm -hmm. That's it. Thank you. Okay, let's move. Who else? Me, teacher. Okay, we go with Maho. Yes. Uh, uh, nice. Mm -hmm. uh, Sería nice. Mm -hmm. Nice. Mm -hmm. And the superlative, nicest. Yes, nicest. Thank you. Let's go with the others. There are some. Like very easy. Okay, what about if we listen to what about if we listen to Freddy's? And then Robert is happiest mm -hmm. happier. Yeah, happier. And the uh, superlative is happiest. Yes, happiest. That's it. Thank you. Okay, Robert and then Denise. Uh, in positive is easy. Mm -hmm. And in comparative, easier. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And this is very like confusing word because a lot of people say more easy but it is easier. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And that's it. Thank you. Okay, Alberto, good, better, best. Good. Better, best. Okay, Denise. Please help me, my dear friend. You tell me what? Um, difficult. Mm -hmm. And most difficult. The most difficult. Yes. Yes, that's it. Mm -hmm. Or you can say most difficult. Thank you. That's it. Um, what about if we have like Morelia? Nancy? Yes. yes. Could you select one? Um, Fortnite. Okay. Fortnite. Mm, no, because it is a long. Uh, oh, sorry, more, long more additive. Fortnite. Yes, more. Yeah. There is a credence song that is called Fortnite song. It's very common. It's very um, famous song because in every word when he, when there are some scenes about war, about soldiers that that song appears in the bottom like a soundtrack. Okay, we have just two more. And we're going to finish this with, well, I'm going to do it. If not, we're not going to move too far. 
boring, more boring, the most boring. And the last one, it is bad. Then we have words. And here, here we have the words, okay? Pay attention with this, okay? Good, better, the best. Bad, worse, worst. Uh, this is like uh, exceptions to the rule. Okay, now here we have a um, conversation from the manual. Remember that we were studying um, this conversation, right? And for this one, here we have Ruben and Jenny. In this case, we're going to have uh, Robert. Can you, please, could you be Ruben? And Denise, uh, you're going to be Jenny, please. Okay. Go okay. ahead, show time. Okay. Okay, let, let's check your schedule for today. Jenny? All right. You have to start covering for Gladys as the hottest today from night to 11 a.m. Then you can go to lunch. You have to be back at 1 p.m. so that you can serve, serve for the rest of the afternoon until 6 p.m. Will do, Ruben. Thanks for the reminder. Thank you. That's it. Now, from this conversation, here we have um, three answers. Number eight, sorry, three questions. One, when does Jenny's shift start? Shift is the change. For example, when you enter working, when you start working and you change. Okay, then here we have number two. What is Jenny's job in the restaurant? What is Jenny's job in the restaurant? And number three is what does Jenny have to do from 1 to 6 p.m., okay? So for this one, maybe we can have some participation. Remember number one, two, or three. Maybe we can have uh, Ernest. Could you help me with one of these questions? I'm going to present the, the, the picture, I'm sorry, the, the conversation again. One, two, or three. One. Okay, when does Jenny's shift start? Mm -hmm. At night or club. Thank you, yes. She uh, starts at night or club. She starts, perfect. She starts at nine, He's, here we have it, right? And now we have uh, two or three. So for this, I will need Vicky maybe. Select one for question, two or three. Two. Two. Mm -hmm. What is Jenny's job in the restaurant? Mm -hmm. um, maybe she... I have to start covering for Gladys. Okay, yes, as, the as hostess. hostess, yes. Uh -huh. Thank you, yes, but it is not she have it, she has. Mm -hmm. She has to okay. start covering, yeah, because we are talking with third person, that, that's it, thank you. And we have question number three. When does Jenny have to do, I'm sorry, what does Jenny have to do from one to 6 p.m.? Maybe we can have Miguel in this case. What does Jenny have to do from 1 to 6 p.m.? Okay. Any idea, Miguel? If Miguel can't participate, maybe. Oh, yes, right, Miguel? I don't know, teacher. No idea? Okay, Fredis, what about you? I what does Jenny have to do from 1 to 6 p.m.? The... Is back. Uh-huh, at 1. Mm -hmm. Back 
Ajá, to so that. Back, uh, back at 1 p.m. Yes. And then it says, so that you can serve for the rest of the afternoon. For the rest of the afternoon yes. until uh, 6 p.m. Thank you. Yes, that's it. Perfect. Very nice. Thank you, uh, Fredis. Okay. A very interesting question because um, always that we have elections for presidents, for politicians, uh, for mayors. Um, there are a lot of proposals that they present. And they say, I have a plan for these uh, difficulties. I have the solutions for some problems. But imagine, if you were the mayor of your city, si fueran el alcalde o la alcaldesa de, de su ciudad, what would you do to improve it? ¿Qué harían para mejorarlo? I would, yo haría, ¿qué haría? Okay. So, I'm going to check the your answers in the chat, please. Um, I guess we can uh, read and listen good proposals. As you are citizens and you are workers, are workers, you know the necessities from your city or from your neighborhood. So you have seen the stress, the delinquency, taxes, and the necessity for some projects. I don't know, a lot of things. Okay. So I'm going to be waiting for your answers and then we uh, continue with the next activity. Okay, go.
Okay, we're going to start with Vicky. In this case, la alcaldesa Vicky. Okay, tell us, what could be your proposals? Um, if I were the mayor, I would like to make a diagnosis to identify and priority needs. And additional, I would like to create a beneficiary program to guarantee basic conditions for adults and general job opportunities for single mothers and additional improved environmental conditions conditions in the okay. city okay um i would like to make a diagnosis being strange a palabra diagnosis but diagnosis. good that, that's the first one you it is difficult to to perceive or notice the real problems but you you say identify and prioritize yeah yes. even <laughs> if you don't have your diagnosis but you have an idea a clear idea about the problems for example as you mentioning uh benefit programs right for elders for older yes. adults and mm -hmm. uh, single mothers so those uh well that is the population that they are in danger in different aspects because um older elderly los mayores elderly um they don't have the capacity to earn money as young people right so they have some difficulties even with the houses with the housing and in the case of single mothers in case she, if they have to work who is going to take care of the kids and some different things that that uh, connect right with the difficulties the population in danger so yes be yes because in el salvador the adults and single mother there are a ha there are ha um big problems uh, for me yes in they, environmental yeah they have a, a lot of problems. A lot of uh, problems. Not, not only economically, that's one problem, but there are some others, for example, housing, el tema de vivienda. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, most of the, this uh, population, uh, they don't have own houses, right? Mm -hmm. uh, or they, they live too far from the, the, their jobs and the, 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 the topic of the school, a lot of things. So thank you, Vicky. Yes. Good. Okay. Good. Thank you. You have a boat. You have my boat. Thank okay. you. Okay. Uh, <laughs> no problem. Ernest, miren que aquí podemos sacar buenos candidatos. Okay, Ernest, you go and then Freddy's. Your turn, my friend. I I will impose a lot of taxes and fines to the person to trash the garbage on the streets. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have cultural problem here in different aspects, but one of them is the trash or the garbage on the streets. And that's why we have floods on, in the winter, uh, inundaciones. We have floods in winter. One of the reasons, of course, it is not the, the, the only one, but uh, here we as Latin American country, or like uh, El Salvador, um, people don't understand by words. Unfortunately, definitely there are people that they you they they see a sign or something and they say, okay, we don't do it. But here is if nobody is watching you, you can do it. So come on, that's why uh, taxes and fines. I guess this is very important to. Uh, to limit to the people to do bad things. Thank you. Okay, Ernest. What about Freddy's and Miguel? Okay. Mm -hmm. I will see to promote trees and fix the strip. The strip, it mm -hmm. will also keep the strip and park cleaning. Park cleans, okay, nice. Yeah, promote tourism, and that brings benefits for the 
entrepreneurs, los emprendedores, or people with yeah. their own businesses. Uh, tourism, it is like a good system to have uh, economical development, desarrollo económico, and that's it. Thank you. Thank you for this good option. Well, talking about earnest, I'm thinking that with the money recovered from the taxes, you can have a lot, a lot of money to, to create a lot of projects, right, Ernest? I was thinking like, yeah, but the city who could have like a lot of money to create a lot of more uh, benefits with projects. Thank you. Um, Miguel and Majo. Okay. I mm -hmm. think so. If I were mayor, I would do workshop for young people, such as carpentry, uh, masonry, cosmetology, gastronomy, among others. And I will also try to keep the street clean, which is one of the things that affects our city the most. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I like the, the, this idea too. I like all the, these ideas. But this one is very interesting because it is focused on young people. And that is a good source of uh, benefits. For example, uh, a lot of teenagers that they have free time, they could spend and develop some skills because we all have abilities. It is not that everybody is going to get graduated or go, eh, all the students are going to have university degree because it is it is very complicated. But those uh, students can have different abilities, and if they are good at the uh, uh, at that area, it means that they can have their own businesses or whatever. Okay, so yeah, why not? I am the idea of that every person should have like an occupation. A person should have the ability to do something besides the job that you have. In case you are fired, if you then the company says, okay, bye-bye, so you can have some other forms to uh, have earnings. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. It is very interesting, especially for teens. Majo and Denise. Okay, Majo. Okay. I would to like a lot of things. Uh, first, I would like to implement more order and cleanliness in the streets. I would like to improve schools so that so that they need to have a very structures and uh, programs that educate the population about the care of nature and culture. I I would like uh, um, there to be a free music school for children, and I would like to have recycling days. Also, agricultural programs such as home gardens or um, huertos caseros. I don't know mm -hmm, if it's mm -hmm. the correct way. Ah, okay, uh, that home improve gardens. the economy. Mm -hmm. That okay. improve the economy through sales. Yeah, nice. Uh, <laughs> related to you have a lot of proposals. Are you a candidate yes. for the next year? No, no, I don't like politicians. <laughs> yeah, neither me. I don't like. I don't like them. But. Uh, it could be nice if they can pick some projects that are very beneficial. But well, anyway, um, here we have different points. Yeah. If you notice, there are like three answers related to the, uh, to keep streets clean, right? It means that maybe in your neighborhood or in your city, you have that problem, right? It happens, yes. mm -hmm. unfortunately. Or in the corner of some neighborhood, sometimes it happens as well. Um, let me see. I totally agree, one hundred percent, to to create schools or to create spaces in which uh, you can teach music, art, painting, dancing, whatever. Uh, whatever uh, area of, of art yeah definitely that's really nice and recycle yes uh to take care of the nature maybe to try that 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 people be more sensitive related to animals 
related to, to the environment, right? So that's it. Yeah. Good idea, Maho. Thank you. Thank you. And Denise and then Raquel. Okay, Denise. Explain us. Okay. I have a, a, a few months living here, so uh, how, I will how, put how the... many? How many months? About six months, I guess. Previously, you were living in? In Soyapango City. Okay, and now you are in another place. So... Yes, I'm living in San Juan Pico. In this month? Um, mm -hmm. Yes, and I will build, build more parks and plant more trees because we don't have many parks here in San Juan Pico and... And with the trees, well, we we don't we have a hot weather here. Really yeah, hot. I guess Opico is in La Libertad, right? Yes. So you can feel the 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 the, the breeze like from the 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 sea, the ocean. So it's it's like it is not <laughs> cold. It is like <laughs> hot breeze. It's really hot here. We don't okay. have any tree. Yeah, well, I have gone, I have visited uh, Opico like three times, and there is uh, just one park in front of the church, I guess, from the Catholic Church, I guess there is only one, and then maybe you don't have more spaces. But you are talking about the center of Opico. I, I live here in, I, I don't know how to explain it. Um, San Miko, no. Oh, yes. Aha, <laughs> that, uh -huh, that is another. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, I visited San Miko um one month ago. I went to with my band, with my music band, and it is it was really but really hot, uh, especially mm -hmm. after a rain. It rained like yeah. for for twenty minutes, and after that, the yeah. all the steam, <laughs> el vapor steam yeah. was like. Wow. Yes, Incredible. that's right. Very that's hard. Yes. <laughs> okay. Okay, Denise. Drink water, please. Remember. Okay. Thank you, Denise. Yeah, very nice. Options in your case that you're living there. Okay, we go with Raquel and Nancy. Raquel, please. If I were mayor, I will improve the market and in place. People in a place where they can see they product. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I guess markets are good idea to for well for the development of the economy, and uh, because people don't have to move to the center of the city to buy the uh, common products, and you can people have their business in their yeah of course markets good option always. Nancy and Robert. Okay, Nancy. Okay. I will move the solid waste site to a mm -hmm. place further away from the city and help with uh, teaching people who they harvest community vegetables. Yeah, that's a good, good option. Yeah, the solid waste and all the things uh, as far as possible from, from the city, especially when, when the, there are a lot of families. And yeah, how to harvest community vegetables, it is always a good option to plant their own food, even that's cheaper. That's really cheaper. That's really cheap, I'm sorry. Thank you. Uh, Robert and Morelia. Hey teacher, I have an old promise of the politicians Okay. In my own case, I would like to improve the street of the city, support the rescue of all, all culture through social projects. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's it. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, the streets are very uh, important, right? Definitely. And culture, yeah, that it's there are a lot of there are a lot of projects that can be developed. We maybe we know some of them, but there are some projects focused on kids, for example, that they have difficulties for learning or there can be some spaces for blind people 
for kids with difficulties for uh, how to learn to 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 speak to to read a lot of things thank you morelia and albert hello good evening hello there i will give big cast to study to help families with less recourses to give a dignity to study also, have a culture house always open with courses to improve the abilities and mind artists of the all stage people. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, why not? Um, interesting how uh, culture houses, uh, but when a lot of open uh, courses, you know, uh, culture houses. In El Salvador, they are very limited related to the courses that they provide, right? It is more focused on music or dance, the, the, the dance groups. But uh, after yeah, that, it is like uh, there are not many options, right? In culture, it's a, it's a very wide, a lot of um, areas, right? Thank yes. you, Morelia. Albert. Okay, Albert. Okay, look at this. This is the opposite of Ernest. If I were Sorry. mayor of the city, hello. Yeah. Sorry, I was in okay, no problem. I'm going to read it. If I were mayor of my yeah. city, I would lower taxes to improve the living condition and low income people. Okay would dialogue with the police and create surveillance committees to combat crime in this way generate income for those families. Could it be another option? Okay, nice. Maybe you can lower some taxes in a, in some aspects. Okay, could it be for some people? That's nice. I don't know who can, who, who has the appearance of a mayor here? ¿Quién tiene apariencia de alcalde o alcaldesa? ¿Could it be Freddy? ¿Robert? I'm sorry. Ernest. George. George. Hey, Ernest. Ernest. Hey, Robert. Good. Really? Ok. Yes. Robert, Robert is like... A... Robert is like... Robert, Roberto. Robert is like... He belongs to one party that I'm not going to mention. But he looks like he belongs. <laughs> ¿Verdad, Morelia? Okay. I think so. <laughs> okay, Robert. Like you a could... liar man. No, come on. <laughs> come on. Okay. Well, Robert can be like one option to be the mayor, right? Yeah, good for you because you, you have like innocence appearance. Come on. You can do it. Okay. Uh, well, Thank you for your uh, answers, my friends. As always, it is very interesting to have these types of uh, dialogue. And we're going to continue with this. Building vocabulary. We're going to, well, it says draw, draw a line from the word to its uh, correct definition. In this case, here we have work, schedule, break, shift, overtime, call in. And here we have the definitions so we have to connect okay so i'm going to give you like a couple of seconds so you can have like uh, some ideas and then we participate and then we go with the next activity
Okay. Volunteers for this. Um, we have just four definitions to connect with the words. Okay. Me teacher. Okay, Miguel. Tell me what word. I think so, but that is correct word. For example, break. break. A mm -hmm. small period of time mm -hmm. when a person can stop working to eat or rest. Okay, thank you. Okay. It's good. It's correct. Yeah, it's correct, but this line is horrible. I'm sorry. Just give me a break. Okay. I'm not, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, break like this. Yeah, this is a decent. One, just about the center. Thank you. Yeah, small period of time when a person can stop working mm -hmm. to eat rest. I don't know if you have. Okay, tell me, please, how many breaks you have in the chat? Just tell me one, two. Okay, just tell me. Great. Text in the chat. Okay, be honest. If you don't have any break, we're going to call to your boss and say, "Hey, okay, come on, what's going on with you?" Okay, and here we have break work schedule. Who else? We have overtime, calling, shift. Maybe yes. Denise. Shift. Yes, oh, shift. Uh -huh. The time of the day when a person works. Okay, that's shift. Yeah, definitely. Thank you. Okay, we have just two more words. What about the mayor? Robert, overtime or calling? Calling. Okay. Or no, teacher. Uh, work schedule. Schedule. Uh, okay, but this is already the chart, the done. personal list. Yeah. Of employees. Yeah, it, it is. Tramposillo, Mr. Robert, and I ya está. Okay, no problem. But I'm going to say yes. The mayor, Teacher. no problem. Teacher. The it is difficult in, to see. Calling? Calling in is to cell phone your workplace to left the now that you are going to be uh, absent or late. Yeah, no, right? What is no? I'm sorry. The telephone, right? Yeah. Ah, that's it. Calling. Yeah, telephone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the telephone, your workplace to let them know uh, that you're going to be absent or late. So you call, you say, okay, I'm not going to be available. So bye-bye. And -bye. Uh, overtime, right? Definitely is when. When you work when, more than the regular monk in work. Working hours in a hours day or a week. I don't know week. if you have overtime work. And if you have it, if you do, I hope you you are paid. Because I used to work for a foundation mm -hmm. that I'm not going to say the name. But I used to work a lot of hours, extra hours or overtime. And I was not paid at all. Maybe with a pizza. That was my payment. Come on. And here we have the answers. Uh, Denise says one break. Okay. Nice. How many minutes? How much time, Denise? One hour, two hours break? One hour and sometimes hour and a half. Okay. But is that for lunch? Or a like regular break? Uh, it's for lunch. Ah, okay. So that's it. Well, maybe. What about Robert? Thank you, Denise. What was what's the question, teacher? Uh, how um, how um, well, if coffee. you have break? Yes, I have a break. Uh, in the middle of the day. Okay. And it's a thank time you. to rest. Okay, to sleep. Okay, how much time you have? One hour, similar to the knees? One hour. One hour. Only for okay. lunch. Well, 
in my case, I guess we I have like similar time, but I have to to eat in fifteen minutes because of the time because I have to move. So it is it is complicated, but nice. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Ernest says, "Do you have break?" Como el meme. Okay, come on. Sorry, Ernest. Um, Morelia, one break of forty-five minutes for us. Yes, it is few time, uh, Morelia. It is few time because uh, from the moment you go and get your food, you start eating. You watch some videos in YouTube or whatever, and then you have for the digestion. It is not enough, right? But well, nice. What about Vicky? You in your case, not right, Vicky, because you are in the on the field. You are moving. Yeah, but when I work in the office, I have two breaks. One in the in the morning, in in the afternoon for the coffee afternoon. time. Yes. <laughs> Good. Thank you. Thank you, Maho. What about you? In my last job, I have only twenty minutes to eat. It's so fast. Today okay. I was beginning my new work and apparently <laughs> I have one hour. Okay. Yes. Okay, Maho, it is few, but few time. 20 minutes, it is not enough. Yes, um, uh, we have only 20 minutes to eat and 10 minutes to go to the bathroom, to the restaurant. Yeah, it is few time. I, as I told you before, I eat in 15 minutes, but yes. uh, I have to move from one place to another. So there are some other minutes, right? But 20 minutes, it's time to have to be really fast. Thank you, yes. Maho. Freddy says, legal one. So, <laughs> illegal. Okay, Freddy, I hope your, your boss is not watching this video later. So mm -hmm. you're going to be just one, my friend. Not okay. important for me, my job, because it's not legal. It's... Your job is not legal? No, it's oh. break. Ah, oh, the break, okay. My boss okay. is, is, is uh, okay, it's nice. not important. Thank you, thank you for your honesty, Fredis. Five minutes. Five minutes, just five minutes, no just to, to, to drink some water, right, in coffee. Yeah, uh, coffee um, in the morning. And in um, the afternoon. After, okay. Uh, afternoon and for the tardes. Yeah, 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 thank you. Ernest says at the bathroom, okay. I don't know how much time do you take going to the bathroom, my friend, but in some cases you have few time. Right, Maho, you have just 20 minutes, as you mentioned, right? It is, it is a few times. Yes. You can, so you can have a snap. Yes. The, oh, the horrible yes. about this, this is when you go out with your family, you you have the custom to eat very fast. Yeah, yeah, I understand yes. that. I understand that. So when you are... um. Eating especially uh, at noon, right? It is like you eat, and you can you can help it, right? Um, when you say I can help it, no puedo evitarlo. I'm going to write it here. I can help. No significa no puedo ayudar. I can help, no puedo evitar. I can help, like the song. Okay, falling. I can help falling in love with you. We are so romantic tonight. Come on. Okay, this is an Elvis Presley song, but there is another band that plays reggae. It is UB40, a very famous uh, version of this. I can help falling in love with you. Come on, listen. Listen to uh, this song and then send it to your crush or the love of your life and you say, come on, I'm thinking on you. Well, and here we have the next one. Yes, the best story. Yes, Maho. Definitely. It is, it is one of my favorites. Well, let's move in. 
We're going to have a conversation like this. And it says, hey, Hilbert and Laura. Laura, keep your, the schedule organized with T at the end, organized. My staff is always complaining. I use an online service so that the staff can see their schedules from their phones. That sounds like the most efficient way. I bet it saves a lot of time. Yes. It is the best way to keep your stuff organized and on time. Well, you know, schedule, complaining, quejas, quejarse. Um, stuff can see schedule from their phones. Efficient, the most efficient way. Bet, apostar. I bet it saves a lot of time. Save, ahorrar. Okay. I need you to have like a screenshot of this. And I'm going to order the team so we can practice a couple of minutes. This is a very, very short conversation. So we're not going to have any problem, right? Okay, just give me a second. Okay, let's practice a little bit. Remember, interchange and switch the dialogues. See you in a moment. Okay, my friends, please accept the request. And you're going to be in the group, Raquel. Please. Okay, let's see. Okay, Raquel, please accept the request. We don't, we don't take, we didn't take screenshot. Okay, uh, what about in the WhatsApp group? Nothing. It's nothing. Nothing. Could you, could you take the yes. screenshot and send it to the WhatsApp, please? Okay, could you send it to the group? I don't yes. know. If, okay, right thanks. Now. thanks, yes. my friend. See you in a moment. See you. Bye. Ahí está. Thank you. You saved my life. Okay. <laughs> no problem.
Okay, guys, um, we're going to continue with this. Maybe we can have one or two teams for here. Maybe we can have the participation of Morelia. Okay, Morelia, tell us who was your classmate? Ernest. Ernest Hemingway. Okay, please. Laura, how do you keep the schedule organized? My staff is always complaining. I use an online service so that the staff can see their schedule from their phones. That sounds like the most efficient way. I bet it saves a lot of time. Yes, it is the best way to keep your staff organized and on time. Okay, thank you. Very nice. Very nice uh, pronunciation. Maybe we can have now some others. For example, let's listen to. Okay, Freddy, who was your classmate? Let's check here. Denise uh, Robert. Uh, okay, maybe with, yeah. with Denise. <laughs> Freddy and Denise. Okay. Please. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh... I start. This Laura, how do you keep the schedule organized? My staff is always complaining. I use an online service so that the staff can see their schedules from their phones. That sounds like the most efficient way we it save a lot of time. Yes, it is the best way to keep your staff organized and on time. That's it. Mm, yep, yep, that's it. Thank you. Thank you so much uh, for your participation, good pronunciation. We don't have problems with this. Okay, Um. here we have this. Three questions. When does Jenny's shift start? What is Jenny's job in the restaurant? Um, no, I'm sorry. This is not the, the, the way. This is the. How okay. Does. Mm -hmm. How does your company organize schedules? Number one. Number two. In your opinion, what is the most efficient way to avoid overstaffing and understaffing? Okay. Uh, let's see. Number one. How does your company uh, organize schedules? You tell me. Uh, maybe with a meter, uh, meeting on Monday. Uh, by email, by Google Calendar, by sending memos, by organizing the WhatsApp group. I don't know. You tell me. You, you start, Denise, and then Robert. How does your company organize schedules? Yeah, in my case, uh, we do the schedules. My team do the schedules. Uh, uh, every a specific month. day? Every month, at the end of the month. Um, okay. And we do the schedule for the next month, and we always share it in, by email. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's it. Well, thank you. By email. What about Robert? And then we go with Morelia. Okay, teacher. What's the question specifically? Uh, number one. How or, does your company one. organize schedules? Mm -hmm. uh, we have a schedule by subjects and each teacher uh, has see his subject and we are changing of classrooms. Oh, okay. So that's it. That's like personal, right? Yes, that's personal. Like, well, uh, individual or schedules. So it yes, is that. The principal uh, call uh, to each one and give us a uh, a paper with with the schedule. Okay, that's it. Thank you. Okay, uh, we now go with uh, Morelia. Yes. And then Ernest. Okay, in your case, number one. In my case, my my second boss sent us a schedule by WhatsApp group, okay. and. She organized or 
our entry, entry hour and salida. That's it. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. That's it of the work. Okay, that's it. So yeah. that's it. Perfect. Thank you. Ernest, and we go with uh, Vicky. Number one, how does your company organize schedules? Yeah, uh, with my boss, uh, we have meetings one every date. I'm sorry, every date at, at nine. And we schedule the, the day, the present date. Mm, and the nice. other days, uh, another, another meeting to see the requests, the... Um, uh, los pendientes, como yeah, depending, uh, depending work, so depending, uh -huh. mm. yeah. Well, you have a lot of meetings, Ernest, so you have to be uh, very, some, some leaders, some uh, very short 50 minutes, yes, oh, okay, very short. Yeah, just to, to check some details, right? Mm. Yeah, nice, thank you, Ernest. Okay, nice, perfect. Okay, we go with Vicky and Freddy's. Uh, in my case, in the administrator have a um, calendar for mm -hmm. programming activities. Okay. For the for the of staff, mm -hmm. and there are um, different departments, which um, I I don't with know. information. With all the like the calendar, oh, oh, with... yes, we um each department have their su propia programación. They are yeah program okay. They are a program. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Nice, Freddy, and then we go with um Miguel. In my case, meeting two times a week. Mm -hmm. um, is different. <laughs> For day because my work is three of the sample, three of the sample in the production plant. Okay, thank you, thank you. Nice, Miguel, and then Majo. Wow. Okay, in my case, teacher, I don't have a specific schedule because mm -hmm. only when sometimes urgent is needed. Do mm -hmm. we come in or if there is a need because we are in several areas? Okay. With Freddy. <sighs> okay. So uh, you are you are ready for a person yeah. to call to you, and so you go like very urgently, right? Yes. You go. Okay. So that that's how you work. Thank you. Very very interesting. Um, let's listen now to Majo and then Nancy. Hey, Majo. Okay. So, Avianca, Avianca, this account needs to have a cover 24 plus 7. So, um, the schedules are made by Colombians. So, the Colombian decides our schedules. Okay. And it, it's sent by a supervisor on Friday's night always. Oh, okay, Friday's night. Hmm. Thank you. And well, one question, Maho, how is it to work with Colombians? Is it like relaxing, like confusing, stressing, mm -hmm. complicated? The Colombians are very complicated persons. Mm, right. <laughs> they they put things where don't we don't need like Salvadorians uh, are these things. Okay. Are very complicated. As so a, they as... confuse themselves. Yes. There's yes, a confusion, but them. Yes. They complicate themselves. Okay. So it happens. On the contrary of Americans, for example, I have worked with them and they are very specific. They they don't complicate, they're very concrete. Okay, very organized. But well, anyway, thank you, Maho. Okay. And Nancy. And then we go with the next activity. Okay, Nancy. In my case, we organize, organize them by the Google Calendar application. Mm -hmm. Very functional, right? So everybody has like uh, their scheduled activities. Okay, bye, by using the sample. Thank you, Nancy. Okay, question number two. In your opinion, what is the most efficient way to avoid 
overstaffing and understaffing. Okay, overstaffing is when there are a lot of employees, more than required, more than the employees needed. And understaffing is when the company or the team needs more employees, but they don't have them. Okay, tell me if you uh, you face this, uh, the, the, this situation, overstaffing a lot of employees, understaffing few employees, okay? J just tell me that, okay? Because uh, we are not going to expand too much with this equation. Just tell me that, okay? I don't know, Denise and then Robert. Do you have overstaffing or understaffing? Or everything is normal, okay? Um, uh, well, actually, uh, I had a lot of shift. So a week, uh, one week, for example, I start at eight and then I start, uh, I end at 5.30. And other shifts are at night and weekends. So mm -hmm. I think we have understaffing mostly at nights because at there night, are a lot of work so, yeah. at night. Uh, more employees are required at night. Okay, yes. so mm, thank. Okay, thank you. Uh, we go with who Robert and then Morelia. Overstaffing or understaffing, or you are okay. No problem with that. Uh, I don't know if is overstaffing or understaffing, but we are 40, 40 teachers in the college. Okay, and. Sometimes I I feel uh, that I have many work. We okay, have some much work. You hours, have much work. Mm -hmm. Much work. Uh, we have some free hours, but we... Uh, you have always work to do, right? Even you have yes. free hours, you have... Yeah, I have had... I have been in that Checking tests and... Mm, yeah, checking tests, no. homeworks, uh, uploading grades. A lot of things. Thank you, Robert. But in yeah. this college, mm -hmm. uh, are requiring uh, uh, one teacher more. Yeah, maybe one. Okay, so you can have more time for doing uh, some other activities. Thank you, Robert. Okay, Morelia and Vicky. Hello. Over stepping. Uh, in my case, mm -hmm. I think that is under stepping, mm -hmm. stepping, but. I think that for this season we need more ah, okay. because the people is really crazy for Christmas and New Year. Yeah, so we need more people to 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 take care uh pets and to okay give give a shower. Yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, people are mm -hmm. people, people are, are yeah. yes because they have more time. In December or in you know, on this this one as as you as you say, yeah. So you are like overcrowded. Sometimes it's crowded, right? And you you not have is, to. I think that not is the case because oh. in my in my son of work is for for example a rich son, okay. so uh they have employees, and the mm -hmm. employees live leave the the dogs or cats in the veterinary okay but the problem is that the the families go out to the country so we have to take care of the dogs come on really yeah yes it's a hard work yeah, yeah a little work it's, it's a little difficult and we need more people mm -hmm, definitely Thank you, Morelia. Very specific in your case. Okay, we go with Vicky and Ernest. Um, in my opinion, uh, for the most efficient way, maybe can be um identif identif identify identify or ident identify the priority areas worth okay. for to hire. Personal. To hire more, more personal. More okay. personal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that that could be like it, uh, it is not the, in the same areas or well, the, the necessities, right? Or the needs. Okay, thank you. Ernest and Freddy's. 
Okay, teacher, in my case, uh, uh, two years ago, we we uh, we have in the in the company an um, understaffing because we are uh, a lot of uh, activities and responsibilities and we don't we don't uh, no, no las cumplíamos no uh, salir we didn't con, accomplish uh, you didn't, didn't read okay right. but act, uh, nowadays yes uh, we are we are normal we have the need personal and yeah we we are a uh, complaint in the activities okay very nice yeah but mm -hmm. you have like one time in which uh, you you have difficulties in that case yes. right thank you thank you for for explaining and uh, what about freddy's and we go with ma um in my case in work is an only staffing mm -hmm. because the person cal qualificator is difficult work okay mm -hmm. so you need more more uh, employees uh, right yeah in, to uh, to complete all the all the work mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. thank you majo okay. and nancy okay in my workplace, we are overstaffing because they are the is coming the high season of flights. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it is coming. So at this, uh, at least in this period of time, it is uh, more, well more employees, more personnel, right? Yes. It's needed. Thank you. Okay, we go now with. <laughs> Si les contara todo lo que he escuchado en estos dos años, trabajo mejor. I'm not saying anything, pero he escuchado cosas. Sé cosas. He escuchado y visto. Mm, medio, yeah. <risa> ok, once. Otro día le voy a comentar. Ok, uh, y sigue Alberto aquí. Ok, um, Nancy, please. Uh, question number two. Sí. Yeah, just mention if in your case you have overstaffing or understaffing. Okay. In my case, it could be dividing, dividing the areas mm -hmm. uh, to classify the personnel in HR and verify how the work moves in, okay. the, in that area. Mm-hmm. Okay, it depends, right? Thank you. And we finish with Miguel. Okay, teacher. In my opinion, um, to avoid excess uh, over stuff, is okay. Uh, to avoid excess personnel at work, people with the greatest capacity to cover more than one area will have it to be selected. I think so, no? Mm -hmm. Nice, yes. It depends on the priorities. What is, uh, where are the needs? Yeah, of course. Thank you. Well, uh, here we have a look at the conversation and answer this question. Well, they are not questions. They are like the blank spaces in which we have to complete. That sounds like, and it is. Let's see, very easy, this one, right? That sounds like the most efficient way. This is the, the complement. That sounds like the most efficient way, efficient, okay? And for the other, it is, Way to keep your stuff organized on time, okay? It is the best way to keep your stuff organized on time. It is like the bold uh, words, right? And they are superlatives. The most efficient, the best way, okay? Well, 
And we have just 26 minutes and we say goodbye. I don't know, Freddy, you are in charge of the song, right? Así toca la canción. No, pero si no la trajo la compañera, la puedo decir. Permitime, quiero ver quién. Ya está listo para la acción. Mi yeah. teacher. Ah, Ernest. Ah, es cierto. Yes, I'm sorry. Yes. Es que tengo dos marcas acá y siempre me confundo. Una marca es de, con las que tengo los, la sesión uno a uno y la otra es la de la canción y se me va siempre. Ya estoy anciano. Ok, uh, Ernest, uh, if you want, I don't know if you are ready. Or you need I some think. time to prepare. No, I, 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 I'm ready. You're ready. Nice. Wonderful. Alcaldes y alcaldesas, thank you for your patience, yeah. I guess. All the opinions that you, you give are, are really good and interesting. Really interesting. I'm learning from you, from your perspectives. Okay. Yeah, me quedé así como see? sticker. Ya yeah, me quedé como sticker otra vez. Yes, we can see here. Uh, see that, that's a good smile. Uh, that's a good picture of you, Ernest. Nice picture. Yeah. Okay. I go on. Please. <clears throat> yes, please. What I felt. What I know. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, we are just watching the main screen, I guess. But we're not the watching main... the lyrics. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry. Give me a second. Okay. I'm going to turn off my camera because I don't want to appear there like a sticker, please. <laughs> Stickers. No, please. Yeah. I'm really bad at photographs accidentally, believe me. When, <laughs> yeah, when my friends take Ah, something. solo miraba en el escritorio. Ah, qué pena. Yeah. <laughs> sí. Ah, otra oh. cosa. También hay personas que han compartido pantallas y he visto mensajes de reclamos. It is very complicated. Yeah. In all the class was what? Say what? Uh, yeah. Poor of her. Yeah. They were in a um, discussion. Well, you know, arguing. Mm. They were very jealous. Yeah. So don't be jealous. Come on. Everything okay? Or do you need some time? If not, I can give you more time because I have some, uh, we have a listening activity. But it depends on you. Give me a second, teacher, please. No problem. No Two problem. Minutes. Okay. Okay. Meanwhile, we're doing something. I need you to write. We're going to a, li a listening activity. Uh, Ernest is going to get ready, but we're going to have some information. Okay. So you're going to listen different things. For example, you're going to listen the name of four people last name age occupation task and workplace uh, it is not necessary to write this chart but you can write at least the column like uh, you're going to listen the name if you want you can write this in in your notebook or in a paper or in your computer wherever uh, name last name age occupation task and workplace okay i'm going to give you like a 10, 15 seconds. So you can, you can be ready.
Okay. I'm going to present this audio um, two times. Every audio. We're going to list and first one just give me some time. Okay. Okay, Ernest. Yeah. You're done. What? Mm -hmm. Can what? you can you see? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. The sun. What I felt, what I know, never shine through in what I show. Never be, never see. Won't see what might have been. What I felt, what I know, never chant through in what I show. Never free, never me, so I doubt the unforgiven. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know the song. Freddy's, you know the song? Not the check. No. Okay, yes. Maho? No. Come on. No. no it no. sounds, it sounds. Yeah, okay. I know the name of this song. Come on. This Denise? No, Denise. No, I don't know. This, I don't know the song. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. What about the others? This is from Metallica. Maybe, maybe if you sing. <laughs> <laughs> this is from Metallica, right, Ernest? You're right. Yeah. Yeah. You're forgiven. Yeah. Yeah. You're forgiven. Yeah. yeah, it's really good one. Okay, uh, present the the words uh, from the. Sure. Uh, this is uh, 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 I like this song. Uh, I like the the libraries. Uh, I like the story, yeah, but uh, I I I don't find uh, a lot of subject and and verbs and, and other things. But yeah, no problem. Subjects, subjects is I. <laughs> They know. Okay, if uh, not, this, you, you this, can you can show uh -huh, or you can pronounce it. No problem. Yeah, and verse um is is uh repeat mucho. I how how uh and the past participle. I felt, I know, uh have show, shines, never be uh, B C. Uh, my have been have felt have no uh, another one and I do duty is uh, like uh, apodar cierto mm -hmm. yeah, okay okay and, and in, in this case uh, mm, what uh, doesn't mean like a question right mm -hmm. you know uh, there is uh, to say something about something yeah. What I felt, uh, what I know. Right? Yes. Okay. Okay. Good. Well, um, maybe um. Well, this is this is the presentation, right, Ernest? So yes. maybe maybe in the case of um, for the verbs, uh, line number three shines. Okay, never shines. It's in third person. Yes. Um. What about? Mm -hmm. maybe yeah. I it's uh, present perfect I have known it's I it's a contraction okay so that's it well thank you Ernest thank you um, you're welcome we're going to well for the next song we have yeah Freddy you're the next one okay I know that you are ready but for tomorrow could you? Yes, thank you. You are more than ready. Okay. okay.
Thank you. Um, remember, uh, Fredis, to present the what are the verbs, subject, yeah, okay, adjectives, all those things because th that helps us to understand more. Okay. Um, as I was telling you, this is the chart. I hope you are ready because you're going to listen to these audios. Just give me one second. Okay, let's listen. Uh, number one, I'm going to play two times so you can have the opportunity to identify the words or specific information. Here we go. Hello, my name is Patrick Kent. I am 60 years old. I am a chef. I cook different dishes for Caesar's Palace. Okay, again, maybe I can play it three times. Second time. Hello, my name is Patrick Kent. I am 60 years old. I am a chef. I cook different dishes for Caesar's Palace. Okay, uh, number one, always. Third time. Hello, my name is Patrick Kent. I am 60 years old. I am a chef. I cook different dishes for Caesar's Palace. Let's go with number two. Hi, I am Caroline Mendez. I am 45 years old. I am a painter and I supervise quality control for Sherwin Williams. I Again. Hi, I am Caroline Mendez. I am 45 years old. I am a painter and I supervise quality control for Sherwin Williams. The last time. Hi, I am Caroline Mendez. I am 45 years old. I am a painter and I supervise quality control for Sherwin Williams. Okay, number three. Hello, I am Mark. I am nine years old. I am a bus driver. I drive the school bus for American school. I'm sorry. I guess Albert is like connecting. Okay, number three again. Hello, I am Marcos Smith. I am 39 years old. I am a bus driver. I drive the school bus for American school. Let's go with number four now. Hi, my name is Rose Brown. I am 22 years old. I am a fashion designer. I design clothes for H&M. Number four again. Hi, my name is Rose Brown. I am 22 years old. I am a fashion designer. I design clothes for H&M. Okay, I guess that that's more than enough. We have just 11 minutes and we say goodbye. Okay, tell me, um, who has information? I have information. Okay, one number, one, two, three, or four, or the name. One, Andrew okay. Ken. Mm -hmm. uh, he has uh, six. He is. He is 60. He's, he is 60 years old. Yes. Uh, he is chef. Yep. A uh, cook different dishes, dishes mm -hmm. for Cesar Palace. Thank you, Cesar Palace. Thank you. Very nice. What about two, three, and four? Who else? I have the second one. Okay, go with the second one. 
Okay, is Caroline Mendes. He mm -hmm. she has forty five years. She is. She's she's is. sorry. She is forty five. Mm -hmm. uh, she's a painter and yeah. she supervises quality control at Sherwood Williams. Yeah, definitely it is. Thank you very much. Okay, okay we have uh, three and four. What about the other volunteers? Maybe Denise can help us. Yes. Um, the name was Caroline Mendes. I, I'm sorry, it was Marcos Smith. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he was. He is 39 years old. He is a bus driver. He drives the school bus in American school. Yeah, very easy, right? Thank you. What about the last one? Thank you for all your answers. I try in teacher. Let's try. Okay. Uh, his name, her is Rose Brands. He has uh, 20, she has 22 years old. He is a um, fashion designer. Mm-hmm. No sé cómo decir diseñador. Fashion designer, yeah. Ah, designer, okay. That's it, teacher. <laughs> okay, thank you. But remember, it, she is. She is. is uh -huh. Yes. Uh -huh. uh, to say the, the, the age, we, we say she is, I am, you are. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. But I know that we get confused because in Spanish it's I have. Es como en español, es como yo tengo tantos años, tú tienes, pero en inglés es mm -hmm. she is, you are. I am okay. Uh, all the answers are okay. Just the first one. It is Patrick. Patrick can, but uh, the rest of information good. Okay. And the last one, Rose Brown. Uh, she's twenty-two. Fashion designer. And uh, she designs clothes for H and M. Okay. So that's it. Thank you. Uh, if you notice, this uh, this was kind of basic information, but uh, from different accents, different pronunciations. So it is not. Uh, so easy for some cases because some people um, speak faster, some others speak slower, and so on. Okay, and we're going to say goodbye with this. Tell the last trip you have. I'm going to wait for your answers. Okay, let's write in the chat. And we say goodbye. Remember, with this, I'm going to check the attendance list so the person who sends... Uh, the activity, or I mean, your answer, that that is going to be like um, the attendance list checking list. Okay. So we have just seven minutes. I know that we have few time. We're going to do it kind of fast because uh, we're about to say goodbye. So this yes, Raquel. Será que puede podemos ver las las notas. ¿Cómo las notas? Para ver cómo que no cómo vamos avanzando no de las tareas. Ah, pues en la plataforma se puede ver su avance personal. Um, mm. Ya lo has uh, ya ya has visto ya has explorado la plataforma porque ahí aparecen los avances. Se, creo que aparece incluso como una estadística. Uh -huh. ah. Si quieres, revísela y si no, mañana yo te digo. ¿cómo es que vas, yo okay? tengo problemas con dos tareas, uno siempre me las tira mal. Sí, pero por eso, Raquel, yo siempre le digo que me las envíen, que me envíen capturas y todo eso, y yo les ayudo. Ya van dos ocasiones que les he ayudado porque a veces la plataforma falla, a veces un signo de puntuación, a veces el doble espacio, cosas que suceden, una mayúscula. Por eso les ayudo en eso. Ajá. Así sí, que, yo intenté mira. poniendo mayúscula, minúscula, uh -huh. punto y nada. Sí, no, no me... pero sí, envíamelas y, y, y bueno, ahí vemos. De hecho, la, la clase de la semana pasada me tomé un tiempo para revisarlas acá, ajá. pero envíalas, ¿verdad? Es importante que pongas atención a las indicaciones para que no tengas problemas y sea concluir es todo. Envíamelas con captura, yo te ayudo. Ok. Ok. Bien. Teacher, I have a yes. question. Go. Uh, some days ago, I read some news about uh, the the curves mm -hmm. of about about the insta for curves. Okay. 
the now is this course going to continue or or not yeah it's actually <laughs> actually you're going to receive maybe some some information the last week Creo que esta semana que viene, you're, go you're going to uh, receive some information to, well, to take the, the next course. Because before this course uh, finishes, you're going to be included in the next course. So that's it. The, the, that is going to be intermediate. So, mm -hmm. so, but I'm going to ask tomorrow when you're going to receive that information. Okay, Roberto, because it is a uh, inglés corporativo contact every one of you. It's, uh, you. That's it. Thanks. Welcome. I don't know what happened. Okay, um, let's see. Maho, could you start, please? Yes. Yesterday, I went with my best friend to the Tamanique's Waterfalls in Libertad. We walked around um, six kilometers, and we and the return was very difficult. It was my last trip. Tamanique, yes. Yes, very nice. I visited Tamanique's, but no waterfall. But it is a good, there is a nice yes. park in there. Yes. Thank you, yes. Uh, okay, thank you so much. We go with Denise and Morelia. Okay, uh, the last trip I had, it was to the beach. Uh, mm -hmm. Because as, as an employees, we have access to the bank's resort. And we have a reunion. We had a reunion with partners and ex-partners. And we always meet twice a year. It sounds nice. Good because mm -hmm. you have access to that resort as a bank yes. member. Good. Yeah, take advantage as much as you can, <laughs> Denise. Definitely. Have fun. Thank you. Morelia and Miguel. My case was yesterday. I went to the beach with my sister in law's family. Mm, nice. Good. Yeah. Do you feel tired? Really tired. Mm -hmm. It happens, especially when you go to the beach on Sunday. So I love going, but on Saturday, I prefer it. But to us, sometimes it happens. Yes, but I'm tired now. I'm so sorry. Thank you. Miguel <laughs> and Fredis. Okay. Uh, I remember my live trip was a year ago. We went to the beach with my family and we talked about Then we ate fried fish, coconut cocktails. We had a great time. It was a very special for me. Definitely. When you go to the beach, you have to take coconut cocktails and other fish. Yeah. That, that's one of the reasons going on to the beach. Thank you. Fredis and Nancy. Fredis? Excuse me, mm -hmm. that this understand me. Okay, yesterday to trip the the city of San Vicente with my family. Uh, was hard to drive, but is was funny. Ah, uh, yeah, we were talking about Carne Chucho, right? That's why you <laughs> yeah. were talking about San Vicente. Thank you. Okay, uh, Nancy and Vicky. Okay, Nancy. Okay. Mm -hmm. The last trip I have has to the municipality of San Rafael Cedros to visit my grandmother in October. Thank you. Very nice. Vicky and Brandon, and we finished. Okay, Vicky. Mm, for me, my last trip was the last week to La Union to work uh, on planning citizen action to implement good practice for a short period and we work 
uh, with the mayors and communities. Communities. Thank you. Nice. Yeah, very interesting. Brandon yeah. and Albert. My last trip was on vacation. I went to the beach with my family. Similar to Miguel and Morelia. Thank you. Albert and Ernest. Okay, maybe Albert is not ready. Yes, Albert. Hey. My last trip was on vacation. I went to Elemental Beach with my family. Good, thank you, Elemental. Nice. Um, Ernest. Yes, we have a failed trip to Cerro Verde last month. Mm. There were, uh, I'm sorry, there were a lot of people, so many cars and persons. So we decided to go another day. Yeah, I can imagine. Yes, it happens because it's so crowded and full. Okay, so, well, thank you, my friends, for all your answers. Remember, if you write short, I'm going to ask you a lot of things. But if you write kind of like, a good paragraph, it is not going to be like a Bible. No, come on. Like a paragraph, it's going to be like more interesting. Thank you for all your answers, for all your uh, uh, participations. And uh, Freddy, can you, uh, we didn't have session one to one, right? No. Ya tuvimos la sesión uno a uno, no, right? No. Okay, no. tonight. Okay, my friend, see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Descansen. Bye bye. Okay. Good bye. Good night. Good bye, night, bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye-bye to everyone. Okay, Freddy's, um, let's see. Do you have some questions uh, related to the platform, related to any topic, or something that you consider is kind of difficult? Yes, teacher. In my personal case, it's difficult um, learning English. is um, kind of complicated. Hey, complicated. ¿Qué te cuesta, Freddy? ¿Qué consideras que se te dificulta? Uh, en general. A mí me cuesta... Yo no soy bueno para memorizar. El inglés uh -huh. es básicamente memoria. Claro, claro. Entonces, eh, yo soy más creativo, más hago con lo que tengo en el momento. Sí, Entonces, te entiendo. Eh, eh, improvisas, eh, ves lo, lo que hay y, y sí. de verdad, uh -huh. te Ese entiendo. Es mi, mi fuerte. Entonces, para el inglés. Así también, así también soy yo. Sí, yo, yo, yo te entiendo. Entonces, okay. pero la verdad que me he puesto la meta de, de aprender. Ok. Es una meta personal. Sí, eh, te voy a mostrar algo. Hay, en tu caso, eh, yo considero que puedes hacer uso de ciertas palabras que se le llaman cognates. Algo que no lo he explicado, lo voy a explicar. Hola. Connectivity, cognate. No, Conectores. no, no, no. Se llaman, ya te digo. Esos son los connectors, que también son importantes, que lo voy a explicar en estos días. Se llaman así, mira. Los cognates son las palabras que se parecen en inglés y en español. Y Ajá. son bastantes, son bastantes. Ya vas a ver. Vaya, te voy a mostrar un ejemplo... Acá de cognates. Mira. Imagine. Imagine. Uh -huh. Influence. Okay. Um, order. In front. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh, yes. Quiero ver. ¿Dónde yeah. está? Inform. Ajá. Uh -huh. Inform. Estos son verbos. Uh -huh. Pero hay muchos. Por ejemplo, perfect. Es un adjetivo, Perfect. pero es perfecto, ya. Yeah. Uh -huh. Demanding es demandante. Mira uh -huh. este otro verbo, prepare. Bueno, ahí es donde a mí me cuesta como... Yo algunas palabras las conozco, pero me cuesta como hacer todo el, el, el enlace uh -huh. para poder expresar. Vaya, vamos a hacer algo. El día de mañana yo voy a 
Ok. Eh, voy a presentarles palabras que son conjunciones y conectoras para unir ideas. ¿Oíste, Freddy? Mm -hmm. Y ese vocabulario va a ser súper, súper importante, porque a través de eso eh, van a tener como una buena noción, porque cuesta unir ideas. Uno sabe mm -hmm. palabras, pero son palabras aisladas. Pero ya cuando uno tiene una idea, cómo conectar, cómo de aquí para acá, ya van a tener un, un, una mejor, ¿cómo se llama? Una mejor, un mejor panorama. ¿Oíste? Pero, ojo, Perfecto. hay bastantes palabras que son como lógicas. Sí, y sí. Mi sugerencia para ti es que busques esas palabras lógicas. Y a medida vos vayas buscando esas palabras lógicas, te vas a aprender otras que son complicadas, pero tienes que comenzar con lo básico. Mira, ve cuántas hay aquí, ve. Mira, sí. produce, mira, está involved, invite, form, mira, mention. son un montón, son bastantes. Entonces, uno a través de, esas, eh, de ese vocabulario te vas a dar cuenta de que el inglés se va a hacer un poquito más lógico y más práctico, porque si en tu caso intentas buscar solo palabras rebuscadas, te puedes bloquear. Ya. Yeah. Entonces, cuando vas a hacer, por ejemplo, speaking activity y la buscas en el Google Translator, cómo cambiarla de, de español a inglés, sí está bien, pero hay palabras que intenta buscar, palabras que sean más de tu conocimiento o que vos puedas manejar. ¿Oíste? No siempre busques solo palabras difíciles o porque así no, hay palabras que vos las puedes adaptar a las palabras y decirlo con tus propias palabras. Okay. ¿Viste, Freddy? Perfecto. Esa es mi, su Perfecto. mi sugerencia para ti. Y como siempre, okay. escuchen canciones en inglés y cantalas. Cantar el coro. Ese es otro problema. Tiempo. <risas> sí, yo sé. Pero mira, sí. eh, mientras vas al trabajo, escucha un par de canciones, dedícate una canción a la semana y pasarla escuchando. Con los... Aprendete solo el coro. Yo no les pido que se aprendan toda la letra, porque eso es demasiado. El coro se te vuelve pegajoso. Entonces ya lo pronuncias y de ahí vas la siguiente eh, semana con otra canción y así. Y mira, y todas esas palabras te las vas a ir aprendiendo. Yo así okay. aprendí muchas palabras. ¿Sí, viste, Freddy? Así que voy a preparar eh, parte de esa información para mañana, que te Excelente. va a servir a ti principalmente, pero a todos también. Aunque los veas avanzados, eh, se equivocan bastante, entonces sí, sí hay sí. muchos aquí que son buenos, pero aún así hay, hay un, ya identifique ciertos vacíos y se los voy a se los voy a, ¿cómo se llama? Lo, lo voy a reforzar estos últimos días, ¿oíste Freddy? Perfecto, gracias okay, ánimo, ánimo, te veo mañana ¿ok? okay. okay. Good night, okay. bye bye yeah. Good night, bye bye